Saldo a todos com a paz de Cristo, que a mesma esteja nos nossos corações. Não sou hoje, mas para sempre, amém? Mais um vídeo para o canal Profecias Finais, para deixar os irmãos e irmãs bem informados sobre as últimas profecias, as que ainda vão acontecer e que as que já estão acontecendo. Agora, no dia 20 e 21 de outubro de 2018, em Texas, nos Estados Unidos, haverá o maior evento ecumênico de todos os tempos. Para que se cumpra a profecia que está escrito em Apocalipse capítulo 13 e o verso 8 que diz assim. E adorarão todos os que habitam sobre a terra, aqueles cujos nomes não foram escritos no livro da vida do corteiro que foi morto desde a fundação do mundo. Adorarão todos, o mundo todo passará a adorar o papado. Todos se unirão na bandeira do papado, que é o ecumenismo. O ecumenismo é a imagem da besta. E com este evento, promover a terrível marca da besta, que será o decreto dominical nos Estados Unidos. Chegou a hora, irmãos e irmãs, para nós se preparar para a grande batalha espiritual contra a besta e a sua imagem. Todos aqueles que forem fiéis a Deus, guardando os seus mandamentos, vencerá a besta e a sua imagem. Devemos abandonar o mundo. Devemos é, se humilhar perante Deus, porque a hora está chegando. Este evento, para também se cumprir, que, que desaverá uma grande harmonia de força satânica, o mundo todo se unirá com o papado para perseguir os que guardam os santos mandamentos de Deus. A batalha será por causa do sábado. O decreto dominical perseguirá todos aqueles que guardam o Santo Sábado. Vou colocar para vocês o vídeo sobre o evento que acontecerá no dia 20 e 21 de outubro de 2018. Vejam. I don't think these type of things, you know, in recent years have happened. And the openness and receptivity for leaders and pastors of different denominations, backgrounds, and that being willing just to come together and kind of put all that denominational stuff aside. God has caused the gospel to speed ahead, to move rapidly in a observably powerful way. But I think it requires leaders who believe that's possible. If there was ever a time in history where we need another big Jesus event or where a Jesus event could springboard the Church of Jesus Christ into another whole great awakening, now is the time. We're here to represent unity in the church. It's yeah. basically what it comes down to. If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the Word of God, then you're invited to have a place at this table and, and to have a part in this gathering the different voices come together to speak to the power that is in Jesus name to the uniting grace that is available through Jesus Christ it brings a sense of wholeness and shalom that only God can be able to give to our world and generation you know there's people who are afraid about uniting with others so for some that might be the Lutherans for some that might be the Catholics for some that might be the charismatics I think there's just all kinds of divisions that often define us And so for some people, they just don't want to do that. I think it's really easy in the day and time in which we live to sort of fall back and in some ways entrench ourselves. This is what I believe, but it, it becomes more of a statement about this is what I'm against and not so much a statement about this is what I'm for. And that's the thing that I think, I think the world needs to see more than ever. It needs witnesses to show what it looks like to make peace. This is a time more than ever to stand united, to rally under the banner of Jesus. chance to travel to meet Pope Francis, the Vatican. Just one of these things we've been praying for, that God would open up a door with the Catholic Church. Can I give you a hug? Sí. 
But then when we're there being told we're gonna shoot the video that Pope Francis is going to be recording. Well, we didn't bring a videographer with us, and so we're wondering, okay, how are we gonna do this? I guess we're shooting it with Nick's iPhone, a 6S. Which isn't typically maybe how I would think of shooting a video with the Pope, but they are 4K now, so, you know, that works. Together. I was really impacted by just being around somebody like that. It was uh, definitely an encouraging thing of seeing how God is working in the midst of opposition, in the midst of hardship, in the midst of division. God is opening doors. Al gran encuentro de todos los jóvenes en Washington para encontrar a quien puede darte una respuesta de tu inquietud. Yo te invito a que te pongas esta malla para que te revistas un día con esto y puedas responder a esa gran inquietud. Together is huge <laughs> because it's people from all over the nation coming together around Jesus. We don't know if there's going to be a hundred thousand people or a million people or 10 million people, but we know that it's going to be something that hasn't happened in a generation. You and I, we aren't that different. In our hearts, we know that the vision is tearing us apart. It's killing us. We watch as our generation turns its back on the church. Many burned by her judgment, few seen her love. Something needs to change, and many believe it's too late. But we are the ones who believe. We believe Jesus changes everything. He changed you. He changed me. He can change our nation. True belief is demonstrated when we act. To lift the sound, to reach out, to come together with anyone who believes. Shattering barriers that have kept us apart. On July 16, 2016, we're calling over a million people to meet on the National Mall to stand for Jesus in historic unity, prayer, worship, and a call for catalytic change. We are one family, one nation, together who believe. I don't think there's anything that I can cite that has the capacity to literally change a nation like Together 2016. Here's what I really believe. I think what's going to happen in an event like this, you're going to see this thing multiply in ways that you can never imagine. I expect that people will come together in a way they never have before, that people will actually lay aside differences, whether it's denomination or politics, and that they'll really, truly be united as the church. Hundreds of thousands of people filled the National Mall for prayer and a message of unity. It's called Together 2016. We need a total reset so that we can hear from God again. And he says, if you ask me, I will answer you. What we declare today is in uncertain times, we are standing on a certain rock, and he is the rock of ages. You're not defined by the hell you're going through. You're defined by the heaven you're going to. We believe that what a divided nation needs is a united church. God has a plan to heal this world. And it can only happen through his hands and his feet, and that's us. We are the church of Jesus Christ, and the gates of hell shall not, will not, prevail against us. Father, release the grace of unity across the prayer movement. This gathering is impossible. Like, let me just tell you, like, this is impossible. This doesn't happen. Like, this isn't some big organization. This isn't some big 
group. This isn't some big whatever going on. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. And I just want to tell you right now, listen. As we've been praying for this, it was never about coming to the mall. It's always about being sent from the mall. Let me say it again. This hasn't been about coming to the mall. This is about sending a generation out from the mall who are saying, God, we want to go. God, we want to go. God, we want to go. We want to follow Jesus. We want to give everything for Jesus. We're not afraid of the risks. We're not afraid of the cost. We want to go. And so, Jesus, we just surrender right now to you. God, we just want to seal this moment, God, just this holy moment. Okay, roll the drop. The need is all around us. Division, violence, chaos, and a generation that is turning its back on God. This is the most unchurched and biblically illiterate generation in American history. The statistics tell us that for every four people that are turning their back on the church, we are only converting and reaching one. Something needs to change. People often talk about how bad it is today. But imagine the implications in 10, 20, and 30 years when these young people are leading our nation. We need to reach them and we need to come together. You see, each generation needs to find its voice, to have its own unique moment in history. In the 1970s, it was a time of war. It was a time of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But out of that moment, a generation turned to Jesus, and they called themselves the Jesus People. The largest gathering of the Jesus People movement happened in Dallas, Texas. Billy Graham and Bill Bright rallied a generation, and 100,000 young people came together. They were saved, they were equipped, and they were commissioned to go out and change the world. And they did it. In 2016, we prayed and we dreamed. We said, God, would you do it again in our day? Would you renew it in our day? God, a moment for your fame to be manifest in our generation, for us to find our voice. We booked the National Mall in Washington, D.C., and we called the nation to come together. Hundreds of thousands of young people came from all 50 states. Online, 168 nations streamed this event. It was a global gathering of epic proportions when a generation came and said, we want to follow Jesus. This was never about an event. This is about a movement. This isn't about a moment. This is about a lifestyle. It's about equipping a generation to be disciples who disciple others. Imagine a gathering of a generation coming together right here at Texas Motor Speedway. Hundreds of thousands from across the nation coming to be rallied, to be equipped, to be trained, to go out and disciple the nation and the nations of the earth. The time is now, not for an event, but for something that will start a movement that we can train and equip these young people long after the event through resources, through apps, and through collaboration with the local church.
We often say the next generation is our future, but they'll only be our future if we make them our present. The need is all around us if we choose to see it. And the time is now, but we can only do this together.